Hi everybody and welcome back to some more Ride 2 here on this channel. I'm KPG Gooner here and in today's video guys we've got some new DLC bikes to look at. Now a DLC pack was released today, the Ducati Bike Pack. This pack has six bikes for you to download and try out. Now I have tried out a lot of these bikes out already, not on Ride 2 but on Ducati 90th Anniversary. I was one of those that actually downloaded that game and I did quite a few videos on it. I will leave some links in the video for you to check out some of the bikes in this pack on that game because I'm not sure whether I'm going to try out every single bike in this walkthrough, but we'll do some of the better ones. Let me know in the comments below which bikes you want to see, guys, and I will make sure I make a special effort to do uh, those bikes. But we're going to try out one bike in today's video. I am going to keep this video slightly shorter than normal just because I've only got a little bit of time. I've only just got on the game downloaded the pack and um, I've got loads of things to do as most people are very very busy over Christmas and I've got so much to do and so little time is the saying but let me know in the comments below what you want to see and also I just want to say a big big thank you to all those that have been supporting the channel we're getting so close to 4k subscribers which is unbelievable also if you didn't see my last video I did a video on ride I did talk about some of the things that we may be doing on the channel in the new year Take a quick look at that, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see in uh, the new year and what you're enjoying on the channel. And now we're going to get straight into what bikes are on this DLC. So we're going to get straight into that now, guys. I hope you enjoy this pack. So let's get straight into it. So here we go. Right, guys. First up is this awesome machine. This is one of the most powerful bikes on the pack. Now, there is a couple of versions of this bike already on the game. I'm not sure of the difference in stats, but we will look at that. But let me know in the comments below if you want to see this. Let's get straight into the next one. Right, next up is the Ducati 1098R 2008. An awesome machine. And I think this bike has really, really good all-rounded stats. But let me know in the comments below, like I said, whether you want to see this one. Right, let's get into the next bike on the pack. Next one is an absolute classic, a 1990 bike, Ducati 851 SP2. Now, I've heard a lot of good things about this bike, especially in its day. It was awesome, so I'm definitely looking forward to trying that one. Let's get into the next bike. And also on the pack, we've got a bike from 1998, the Ducati 748. A very good all-rounded bike. Another one I think I've already tried out before, but a good bike to try out again. Next up on the pack is a bike that I have tried out before, but definitely wouldn't mind going on it again, is the Ducati Paul Smart 1000cc 2006. A very funny looking bike, but it's an awesome bike to ride. Next bike up is coming. And the final bike in this pack is the Ducati Monster 2014. Um, probably not the best handling bike. Uh, I think it's got quite low stats, but it's another bike. Let me know in the comments uh, if you want to see it. And let's get straight into a race now, guys. So here we go. Right guys, the first bike I wanted to try out from the Ducati bike pack is the awesome classic Ducati 851 SP2. I'm hoping this one is going to be a good one. Um, I've heard some really good things about this bike. So let's get straight to a race and see what this machine is like. Right, just before we get into the race, looking at all the stats, the thing that stands out on this bike is the braking power. But uh, the other stats are not bad. I'm not sure what it's going to be like against newer bikes, but we will find out. So let's get straight into the first race. Right, so the race is going to be around Imola. Let's have a look what we're up against. And there's some really good bikes in this field. A lot newer bikes as well. And one of the lowest performance points a bike as well. Let's just have a look at the settings. Yeah, that should do. No anti wheelie -really should be fine. Let's get straight into the race. So here we go. Right, this should be a really interesting race. Now, the only stat that stood out the most for this bike was the braking power, and we're going up against some really fast bikes. There's some R6s, or there's an RSV Mille. Um, I think there were some CBRs. So we're going up some, against some really, really tough bikes uh, that are going to be a lot quicker, I think, uh, acceleration-wise, maybe top end. But that's not bad. Not a bad start. We've managed to get straight to the front. Now, the braking power should help a lot around a circuit like this. But am I going to get absolutely killed on the straights? Um, I'm not sure where this bike has a good top end, but we will find out. We've started really, really well. It doesn't handle too bad. We haven't changed any of the settings. We're on the, the default settings. 
and it feels pretty damn good into the corners and we've managed to get a nice turn into there not really precise but good enough let's see if we can get a good drive up the hill um it's not the quickest i think acceleration wise i'm not really closing in on the two bikes in front acceleration wise out the corners but uh, oh god a little bit of a moment there as i tap the power on but um, it feels pretty secure it doesn't feel that unstable considering i haven't ordered anything right let's try and get a good line up the hill yeah, that's not bad through there. Drive it, keep that front wheel down there. We decided not to put anti wheelie on. Now, so on the, some of the lower brake horse power bikes, you can get uh, away with not having anti wheelie on. So that's why I didn't put it on. Right, slow it down through there. Oh, God, a little bit, little bit um, uneasy through there. Managed to slow it down. Now, the braking power does feel pretty good it is stopping pretty quick into the corners and that's helping but can we close down the bike in front let's slow it down let's try and get a nice turn into this corner not as precise as i'd like but these are things that you could alter on the setup but i always like trying it out uh, without making any alterations just to see what it's like and that's not too bad but i don't think it's going to be good on the straights and we're definitely not the quickest uh, we're not closing down uh, the bike in front and the bikes behind us are starting to gain on us so we're going to have to be a lot better in the corners just to gain that little bit of time slow it down slow it down let's get a nice turn in there all that bike went onto the curb there hopefully it's slowed it down let's try and get a nice drive around this corner and uh, we are trying to push this bike as much as we can and it's been a pretty damn good experience so far but we are struggling to keep up with this R6, so we're going to have to be a little bit better in the corners because that's the only area I think we're going to be able to gain time on the bike in front. So we're going to have to try and get a little bit tighter, get a nice drive up the hill. Oh, that was much better. It does make a hell of a difference having bikes uh, with good brakes. And I actually prefer better brakes than handling sometimes because I do like to run it into the corners as fast as possible and uh, slow it down really quickly but again i had a moment there as i tap the power and it doesn't like that but that can be sorted out with the setup um i do like to try and gas it as soon as i can and i've gone a little bit wider into that corner trying to get a good drive up the hill oh god the front wheel went up slightly there that was my own fault i went a slightly wider because i didn't want to go too tight in and then crash into this r6 but let's see if we can get him in the chicane let's nip up the inside can i get it turned in no the r6 got a better drive there and i think he's going to get away yes he can i'm struggling to keep that front wheel down and i think that was a bike that just came in really fast behind us i didn't see what that was i'm not sure whether that crashed out um it just disappeared but it came uh, right behind me really quickly but as long as it didn't it didn't knock me out that that's okay right let's try and get a nice turn into there and we're going into the final lap and i just can't see how we're going to be able to get past this r6 we've got to try and get uh, closer to him into some of the slow corners where we're slightly stronger but on the straights i'm absolutely getting annihilated and that's not a bad a first uh, well second lap we did a 150 not the quickest but these bikes aren't as fast as some of the bikes we have raced around here and again he's gone slightly on the curb we've gone nice and smooth through there we've managed to stop it nice and quick with the awesome braking power get a nice drive at least the handling on this bike isn't too bad um, it's not like really high but it's good enough to get a nice turn into the corners and we are slightly quicker at that split point so we're actually running slightly quicker so we are improving but the bikes behind us slightly closed uh, in on me as well behind so we're gonna have to be careful we don't have any uh, problems from the bikes behind running this off in the corners and that's not bad through there and we're probably the same distance behind the r6 as we were on the previous lap so um we're not doing too bad but we need to push it that little bit more into these corners and that's not bad through there holding the speed and we have closed in on him this is where we've got to try and get past can we take an opportunity to get past in these slow corners hold it there nice and tight behind can we drive past him up the hill oh we just touched the curb there can we squeeze past and we've managed to drive past him there and we've managed to get in the lead but can we hold on to it through these uh, last few corners this chicane can be tough slow it down i've got into a little bit hot but the braking power there saved me and i managed to turn it in and we are still in the lead but only just by a whisker is he going to take a um, he might take me on these next couple of corners but you know he's got the better speed on the straight so that's probably where he's gonna take me if I can just close him down in these corners and we are slightly quick on this lap so this is our quickest lap of the race oh god just hesitated there just hold the speed and I think I've just managed to hold him there he was gonna try and go past me there but there was no room and I managed to hold him off and I think we are just 
gonna just win this race and we i think we got a decent lap time there as well i'm not sure if that was the fastest lap of the race but it was pretty decent considering how much we were struggling to keep that uh, r6 at bay but there you go guys that's our first experience on the awesome ducati 851 sp2 i've really enjoyed that it's not the quickest on the straights but in the corners on default sense it was awesome let me know in the comments below what bikes you want to see out of the six bikes in the pack or we can do some more races on this one i don't mind thank you so much for watching and all the support guys and i will see you very very soon bye bye guys